come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular, unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth, but we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity, until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house, opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows. of the darkest dungeon. Ooh! Lee here from the Gearbox Union, and this is, uh, Malevolent Quality Control. And apparently I'm going to just lose my mind in the darkest dungeon. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a... Uh, well, it's an early access game, which tend to be my favorite anymore. Um, well, early access indie developer game. Um, if you don't know anything about it, I think um, it's basically like a cross between Diablo and XCOM. Uh, you manage your troops, they all have different classes, and you send them into uh, to quest and die and go insane. A lot. Um, I have played this a bit, and the, the learning curve is pretty steep um, and unrelenting. It, it definitely doesn't hold your hand or anything. But uh, I, I figured I haven't done one of these in a while, and I was playing this game, and it's really, really fun. I I, I, I realized I should probably do a video when I started yelling to an empty room about uh, my one guy who just kept going insane, or who was just a dick, he was a dick, he kept stealing things, um, but uh, okay, here, here we go, as you can see I, I got rid of everything, I figured I'd start a brand new game for this, and I'm going to let everybody watch the cutscenes too, so, uh, oh, oh, there we go. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other 
damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Well, um, I don't think he should be driving if he's that crazy. <clears throat> also, did leaves just mess up our wagon? I feel like uh, I feel like that's what happened. Well, this is uh, the main screen that you'll be seeing the most of. Uh, we have our guys here. We have their different abilities. Um, this is their fight abilities. You have their map. You have their supplies. And uh, so you go left or right here. Oh, I have to select the destination. Uh, Brigands basically, have run up these lanes. Keep to the brigands. side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Mm, my hand. Uh, but yeah, most it, it's pretty much there's rooms and then these hallways in between them. Uh, the hallways are usually filled with traps, uh, sometimes battles themselves, uh, things you can collect. And then in the room, oh. dispatch this thug in brutal fashion ah, that all may thug. hear of your arrival. So, let's see, great shop lad. We're gonna open a vein on him. Oh, Holy shit. Well, damn. A powerful blow. Missed his eyes. They're dismissed. Right, get some gold out of it. Oops. Interactive. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, gonna steal your tent, or maybe what's inside? Oh, Leave nothing chicken. unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Oh, oh. An ambush. Send these vermin a is message. He... The rightful no, owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. I got some nipples on him. Every time I look at him, though, I feel like he's wearing like a mesh shirt that's cut up and. Not, you know, those are, he, he looks, his skin looks too tan compared to his face or something too. So that's how I'm going to imagine. He's wearing a cut up sweater that you can see his nipples. Yeah! He's bleeding. I hope he's not bleeding from the nipples. How do you get back there? Did we get surprised? He's too busy talking about nipples. A devastating blow. Yeah, stun the crap out of him. I really hate these guys, these flusillers. They end up being really annoying. Bleeding again, stun. He's doing pretty good. So, try to smite. Maybe he'll die from the bleeding. We're gonna make sure he. Ah, oh, really? Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. There we go. But, uh, Dazed. I will say, about to break. this is the tutorial, or this, the one that they threw in at the beginning so far. Uh, I think they're going to do a little bit of a better one. Give them no quarter. Uh, as time goes on. <laughs> but, uh, your guys can die in this. I, I did get, oh, really? Really? You, you had nothing for me? Fine. Well, request is complete, so, uh, here we go. Game on is! And so, here's the, uh, one of the aspects of the stress system. Um, you can see their stress level right here. Um, I believe their resolve is... The higher that goes, the less stressful they get, and uh, that that's kind of like their level as well. Um, here's their stress levels. They're low right now, but as you can see, due to that unquiet mind, may not meditate in town, wow in town, and wield weld technician. Um, 
that's a dungeon location and he does 15% damage. Uh, on guard, he got a good one. First round, plus four speed, plus four dot or five dodge. And here's our, our little hamlet, the town below the darkest dungeon, or where our manor is. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. Oh, that's nice. And you are bound to them. Thanks, Dad. But, uh, so here's our little activity log of what's been going on. Here's, um, this is kind of their checklist. There's actually no, no end to, get help where you may. There's actually no end to the game right now. It's, uh, basically just continuous. It, it runs and runs and runs and you just keep doing missions and whatnot. Here's my graveyard. Most no, will end up yet. here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. That's nice, caretaker. You are a creepy dude. I don't like your smile. Here's our stagecoach. Women and men, this. soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Yes. And uh, here's, we're gonna, really because we need a crew of four. I think you need a crew of four. Or, I haven't actually tried, I just know. It hasn't let me take three people when I had other people. Uh, but you see, everyone actually, so you're just not picking up a plague doctor. Uh, each one comes with uh, some unique things. Uh, it depends on what attacks they have open up, what camping skills they have open up. I'm not quite sure on the base stats if those are always random, but I know it always uh, the quirks. And there's a lot of them on either side. And you can have seven of each. Um, obsessed with killing. Well, I, why is that a bad thing? And, uh... Light above zero. Oh, that's nice. So, well, whatever. We need him. What better our lady, laboratory than the blood-soaked so battlefield? Uh, her, she will be our healer. Not the best because she doesn't have the targeted heal. She has just the, the group heal. A but sister of battle. Each one is uh, Pious unique and ladies. unrelenting. They become unique. They have different traits, different things on. Uh, we're gonna upgrade this so more heroes start coming. Uh, have a little more too. Great heroes can be found even here, in the mud and rain. That's nice. Um, a mecca oh, of actually, madness good. and morbidity. Okay, so this is our state. Your work Each begins. building does different things. Um, as you can see, the abbey, everything right now is pretty much locked down. Need to complete more quests. Oh, I feel that, oh, no. Uh, but each thing unlocks a new, basically a new thing. Uh, new stuff you can do. Alright, what are we gonna do? This is, uh, kind of where you pick your mission. Uh, gives you how long it is, what level. Um, the long, basically, short means there will be no camping. Um, and each one up from that means that you'll be making more camping trips. Basically, they'll be longer and you have a chance to actually use the camping skills that people come with. Um, and this one is complete 100% rebounds. Here's our rewards. Um, I'm guessing these symbols, uh, these are heirlooms. Um, that's how you upgrade your city and I'm guessing the little symbols over the different areas mean that they're more prone to giving that kind of heirloom. Um, so, I'm gonna put him there. Also, um, as you can see, it's a level, equipment, stats, resistances, camping skills, and then here's the other neat thing, is uh, preferred position in the, in the uh, rank, uh, basically is what it's called, group. As you put over the different things, you can see the little uh, yellow dot or light dots and red dots. Um, the light dots is where in the rank he can use that attack, and then the red dots are showing where he can attack with that. 
Um, as you can see, he can use, be in the first two positions with this, and he attacks both the front two spots on the enemies. Um, so, again, it's showing. So he basically, he can use all of his stuff in just the front two positions. And this actually, I guess, ab this little thing averages where the best position would be for him. So since everything is those front two things, the first two are completely lit. Um, and the same thing with the red is showing what his favorite targets are. Um, here's a better example because the, cru the Crusader there basically not too uh, hard to do anything, but um, see, our Highwayman can use uh, what he can probably take aim and open so he can use half of his stuff here half of his stuff here the, f the two positions right here though is his bread and butter that's where he can use everything um, he can use his two shot tactic things uh, showing which target he usually likes to hit the most um, no, no cheek not allowed to gamble so that's where it comes down to where you're putting your people, where they're most effective. Um, so we're going to put, he's going to be up front, you're going to be next, uh, she's going to be there, and our plague dog's going to be in the back. And uh, who are we? Actually, you know what, I'll, I'll take care of that. Um, I'm going to change, you can change your names and everything. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep them. Maybe later I'll start throwing in uh, various GBU related names. The and, cost uh, of preparedness, measured see, now in gold, need to take food. later um, in blood. Food in this? Actually, how should I put it? Uh, you're. As time goes on, your heroes get uh, more hungry, and randomly they'll say, okay, we're stopping to eat. This isn't camping, this is just hunger. Um, if you have food around, uh, usually depending, it's uh, four, you need four, um, you eat, and everybody gets some life back, uses up four of your food. Or, if you don't have the food, you starve, everybody gets some stress, and they lose some life. Um, so it's pretty brutal. You can eat the food whenever you want it, but you only gain one health back from it, one HP back from it. Um, other than in combat, there isn't a lot to heal yourself, basically. In combat, you can do heals. It's actually a problem right now because people will sit there on a, dun on a fight and just keep missing on purpose to give it more time for their healers to use their spells. Um, it's actually been, someone posted that on the community forums on Steam and it's actually being looked into what they can do um, to keep that from happening so much. Uh, you got your bandages, your shovel to clear obstacles which is very useful, your skeleton keys. The other big thing, so you need food and you need torches. Uh, the light level becomes very important. Uh, I think that's good. It's the first dungeon.